LFI Talkative Divulging Classified Information, says the National Security Advisor Mungoro. Hello everyone, everyone, you're welcome to the news. The National Security Advisor Babagana Mungoro has criticized the Cardinal State Governor Malam Nasir Erufai, saying he's too loud-mouthed, especially with issues that have to do with insecurity in the state. Mungoro's criticism against the governor was in reaction to recent comments credited to him after the train incident, where bandits unleashed an attack on travelers along the route to Kaduna. El Rufai has said the gov government agents know the hideout of bandits and they listen to their conversations regularly. The NSA said this shortly after the, Nash the Security Council meeting with heads of security agencies and ministers, presided by President Muhammad Buhari. He said El Rufai's comments could compromise the security situation as the bandits can relocate to other destinations if they know that their current hideout is known. El Rufai had admitted that the Nigerian government has knowledge of the identity of bandits and their camps. He made the comments in reaction to the attack by bandits on an Abuja Kaduna train recently, saying authorities have listened to the conversations of the armed group terrorizing the northeast. Northwest. We know where their camps are. We know their camps. We have the maps. We know everything. We have their phone numbers and listen to their conversations sometimes. But it has to be done across the five states. Ask why the president reacts sometimes in cases of attacks and, and killings by bandits occur. He said it is because the president is usually unhappy with the situation on ground and has to express his displeasure for the security chiefs to sit up and do more. Mungoro, who briefed alongside the Inspector General of Police, Usman Akali Baba, and the Minister of Defense, Bashir Magashi, also noted that the United States government came to an agreement to sell some military equipment to Nigeria after the Chief of Staff to the President, Ibrahim Gambari, and himself traveled to the United States, where they made a presentation to members of the public. Recall that since the attack on the Abuja Kaduna bound train, where eight people lost their lives and many others were abducted, the federal government has been making frantic efforts to rescue the abductees from the terrorists. Kaduna State is the hottest state in Nigeria right now that is almost isolated from the other states by hair, by train, and even on the roads as people are attacked every time and also communities are raided almost on a daily basis. It's quite sad that all of these are happening in a country that has good leaders in quotes who have endlessly just talked the talk without walking the walk and finding solutions to this problem that is eating our country away. I think it's high time our leaders find something to do because right now what they are focusing on is a census coming up in 2023 which according to Nigerian people on the street is baseless. Right now what the government should seriously take into consideration is how to feed the nation immediately, how to ensure good medical facilities, how to make ASU that has been on strike for two months get back to work, and of course, first and foremost, the security of lives and properties. Every day we see stories that are traumatizing about kidnapping taking place. People cannot go along, they can't go, you know, doing their stuff every day without you seeing kidnapping, and sometimes in cases where the Family members are struggling to raise money, or maybe they raise half of the money. They end up finding the corpses of their beloved ones. That is the cry we've been seeing in Nigeria. So, and that is what our government should actually focus on and, you know, stop scratching the surface. They should get to work and do this because history is writing. And for the first time, our dear country is bleeding so, so badly. From this end... We'll keep saying god bless nigeria thank you so much for watching please drop your comments in the comment section below and also remember to please like share and subscribe to the channel i'm sure to see you in the next video bye for now